Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a master class Hearthstone Arena video. These are the videos that take Rania like hours and hours to edit, so I hope you guys enjoy it to the fullest extent. Uh, you might need a bookmark it, you might need to see on multiple occasions, but it is quite an incredible arena run, and it's a lesson that I learned as I was doing it. It's I kind of found my rhythm. I found like my zen when I was playing uh, the other night. I just had a spectacular result. A good, but not like that insane mage deck did very well for me. Mage right now is doing quite well in arena, but not quite at the very top of the power rankings. Um, it's just, you know, I play Hearthstone on some days. I start streaming and I feel like shit. I have a horrible headache or something. And a lot of the time I just feel better. It's kind of my rhythm. It's my zone. It's my jam. Being comfortable when you play, kind of being in the zone, being relaxed, matters a lot more than you think. And I think you guys will enjoy this arena run. It'll be a little bit different as I was talking about everything and anything while I was playing. I really was in the zone. Enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do I have all the cards? Yes. I have almost all the cards golden. Blast wave. Easy blast wave, always blast wave. Pyro 100% and pyro 0%, bro. What are you talking about? Blast wave is like absolutely crazy. Fine. Mm. Tend to like the Worgen Abomination in this spot. Dragon Mount? I don't think so. Take a Firefly here, I guess. Who wants to play the hero that just got nerfed? Well, Warrior's still in pretty good shape. I'm actually going to take the two drop there. Yeah. Polymorph does see a lot of play, I think. I guess it's pretty good. Kind of like a three drop. Fire, Fire Plume Phoenix is always surprisingly strong in this. Fine. Let's go with the Beetle. Oh, that's an easy flame strike. Get those premium board clears when you see them. Yeah, okay. Pumpkin doesn't it's fine. I don't have that many minions. Um, yeah, I got a decent number of big minions. We got 12 cards to go. I'll try the Piper. Fine. Okay, there's a big minion we'd rather have. I yeah, like the snail here. Bomber Broom. Yeah, I don't like that card at all. Synergy with Thunder Lizard? No, dude. Synergy with Blast Wave. What? I'm gonna try Fungal Mancer. I might try the Tempest here, though. I'm gonna try the Tempest. Quite a few elementals. Ooh. We got two 8 drops, I guess. Nah, oh, fuck that. Let's Mana Bind. Damn, three it drops. Pretty good deck, though. I think this can uh, this can do some real work. Minus nine. Yeah, helpless hatching really sucks ass. 68.8. It's quite a bit better deck score than the last deck, but I think it's a little bit worse overall. Yeah, sure. Piper's quite good. Normally it's kind of whatever in Arena, but in this case we have two Daring Fire Eaters. If we pull, pull any of those, it's actually great. I mean, if he's committed to ping again, that's that's all right. No, not this time, I guess. That card can be pretty uh, scary. 
just depends if he has the uh, follow-up tools. The magnetics. I think I want to kill it. <clears throat> Big board clear here would be a bit of a problem. Yeah, it is what it is. sucks. I mean, I have an answer for it, but... Welcome to the show. Let's dance. I think I'm gonna rather pretend that I have removal. I mean, I kind of do, just not the kind of removal he probably expects me to have. Probably better options than that one. Yeah, whatever. The future is ours. Oh, that could be problematic. Oh. No, I guess... I guess I can't. Actually, I want to try something. Because if this misses and goes face... I'm just going to go face. Okay. If it misses and goes face, that is... <laughs> board clear range. I wonder if he has like a blast wave in his hand. <laughs> uh, fucking hilarious. So far, so good with this one. I think I'm gonna keep a flame strike. Go on second, I'll probably need it this game. I guess I'll go with the beetle. The only disadvantage is it might get silenced and. Probably got a higher chance of getting silenced later than this early. Like if he had a silence, he'd probably just save it. He doesn't have a coin. Man, a bind is not bad. I'm gonna take it. Smelly fish, yummy fish. Come dance. Never daring fire eater, damn. That's not bad. What are you hiding? Bang. This should work out. Your life is just one long shit post. <laughs> the shit post thing is fun, dude. Craziest game ever, so good. Yeah, glad you guys enjoyed that. Oh, I probably should have just blast waved.
It would have been a tempo drop, but uh, I'm on basically 30 health. They don't let us at the screen when you top decked into a 0-3. No, I did not do that. Did I, did I miss a good opportunity to do that? Is that what you're asking? Holy shit. Well, I guess we get another opportunity here. Oh my god. How are we so lucky? Okay, so it's gonna be one, two, three. That's gonna be four there. Mm. Yeah, mostly weak ones, but uh, I think we can make that work. It's not, not too bad. Monster card. Meteor's weak. Well, Arcane Explosion is pretty weak. Frost Nova is generally pretty weak. Frozen Clone typically ends up being pretty valueless. So yeah, it's not not like the best thing ever here. Yeah, that's a problem. Actually, no, it's not. Well, Okay. Ooh, the red one tastes like cherries. I had a device verification email, which I just verified though. Oh, we lost. Oh, we did. Hmm. How about that? Mm, fine. I fell asleep to my YouTube for the millionth time. Huh? Sure. Let's try this. Let's get an early adapt. Maybe it's meaningful here. Poisonous or Wind Fury? I can't buff a Wind Fury. I can defend a Poisonous. Let's defend a Poisonous then. Is this guy always streaming? At this time. Yes, that's the point. Welcome to the Crypt stream every night, boys. How are y'all? Just let me have my poisonous. Wow, that's interesting. I would not have thought that was a very good idea. If you have all the cards, why open packs? Because, uh, why not? I have a beer from time to time. It just, I don't know. I've had a lot of uh, pretty slow nights, pretty slow days. I mostly have a beer when I'm feeling good and can afford to feel a little bit shittier. If I get a little buzzed. Just hasn't been too many fitting days, but from time to time. Certainly enjoy good beer. There's very little health left. Welcome to the show! I like this because basically it makes weapons pretty damn terrible. That's kind of what you need to rely on to actually get wins with, with Warrior. That sucks. Yeah, it's still the best play there. Let's try this. <clears throat> yeah, fine. I lose my guy, but I push for a little bit more damage. 
I think can matter quite a bit. Well, if Scorch cost one, it would have been a very different play. Yes, I know. Well, it doesn't cost one. Fuck. Too bad. Back to work. Am I a god gamer? Yes, that is I. I might play some Diablo 2, but, uh, wasn't too crazy about the idea. I checked out the Median XL thing. Didn't really draw me in as much as I thought it would. Cyraniac, thank you for some more gifts tonight. Thank you so much. Bless you. That should be something, right? Rip a whole bunch of armor. His hand right now is one random dragon. It literally has to save him from dying. So let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> Top deck weapons project. Huh. That last card is a dragon. Eleven. I think that's going face. I think that's pinging. I think I'm gonna play the Dragon Slayer. Just because I want the minion in play. Not really for any other reason. I think I'd rather trap him into attacking my guy. But I think I'd rather not reveal what my spell is. That's a fucking ridiculous top deck. Okay. Alright, we're good. Deathwing? He dies if it's Deathwing. Deathwing is perfectly fine. If you lose the Deathwing, it's actually your fault for once. I literally kill him if he has Deathwing. He just dies. The weapon hit is 2 damage, the spell in my hand is 2 damage, and the ping is 1 damage. He was at 5, and you can't armor up and Deathwing. Actually, I think I will keep that. It's a decent 3 and a decent 4 just to kill stuff. Oh, thank you, Aztec87. Uh, all right. I guess it's reconnecting. No, I'm still doing everything normal. A clever concoction. No reason for us to disconnect there. In the meantime, this guy buffed his King's Bane that he played on turn one, on turn two, and turn three. I've, I've literally never seen this in Arena before. So that's, that's good. King's Bane nerf. have no other play to make, so that's the play. This is the real crit. And he drew King's Bane. On turn six. Turn one, play King's Bane. Turn two, buff King's Bane. Turn three, buff King's Bane again. Turn six, get King's Bane the moment you need another weapon. Wow. All right.
that, this is the craziest I've ever seen Kingsbane. I've never seen Kingsbane this good in arena ever. Ever. This is it. I think I'm gonna play the worm. And just hope he doesn't have a sap. I'm pretty good with everything else. Okay. I think I best use Flame Strike here. Now uh, let's see if he uh, gets uh, Kingsbane again immediately. Oh, it's a different blade. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Okay. I mean, I know his hand because it's my hand. So I'd rather play that. And I know he can't kill me. So I'm gonna play those. And that can't kill anything. So he actually has to top deck lethal or a way out. Because my own hand is what he has. And it's not good enough to win. Crip gets the snipe. Well. Smart moves indeed, bro. Get out of here. I'll keep a good three and a good four. Is eating vegan help you make smart moves? What can I say? It doesn't hurt. Oh, and you go 10 years without eating meat? Well, I'm not on 10 yet. I would have posted a selfie from 10 years ago. I didn't take very many photos, but I'm sure there's some out there. Oh, fuck. That won't happen if you don't eat meat for 10 years. Uh, yeah, not not that much, I don't think. I have survived. As long as it keeps out Damn, I have like two elemental synergies. Yeah, I have to do this though. It's too good. I'm not breaking my vegan hood. Can't pay me for this. Sorry, bros. Reporting for duty. That's not too bad. Converting stored energy. That might be annoying. I'm gonna get a one cost Scorch. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to play the Ooze. I don't really want to, because I'm at 4 0. The main win condition at this stage in Arena is Silver Sword. I honestly should probably save that at all costs. Okay, it does, does not look like he has Silver Sword. Hey, that's actually pretty awful. I killed the 1-1, one, one, so he can't remove my 8-3 very easily. Yeah. Fine. 
So I can hit something for six with that combination. That's kind of cool. He had that from earlier. That's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, and I can hit him in the face for six, too. That's quite tempting as well, actually. The battle is over. You win. Not bad. Nine mana fireball. Yeah, but you get little underlings on the board as well, so it's kind of a bro deal if you think about it. A solution has been found. It's too late for math. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Dear Crip, what's the square, square root of lettuce? I believe there's a function that you can input into Twitch chat to display the result of this. Fuck. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Hey, good to get it's... It's uh, an instrument of destruction. Welcome to the door. It destroys your uh, fairly thin body. That's what it does. Ha, this guy's a toast. Come dance to my song. So, like a vegan instrument? Sure. There once was a man from Gilneas. Main is great if you're on the keto diet. Yeah, I don't know about that shit. My introduction to the health effects of mayonnaise was when I was a kid, there was this competition on Fox that was like the fat guy eating competition and that Japanese dude won anyway. But they got these guys and they would like ask them like what their favorite memories are. And the fattest of the fat guys, his favorite memory was when he was a kid and he would sneak in the fridge and eat all the mayonnaise. Now, I don't know about the ketogenic properties of mayonnaise, but I can confirm this guy was wide. All right. So scientific. Yeah. You don't choose the sumo wrestler's life, sumo chooses you. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a problem. Oh, that's pretty nice. Is there a way I can buff that attack? Yeah, I have a fungal mancer down there somewhere. All diets are fads. The only real diet is balanced portioned meal. I mean, oh, that's nice. That's what my dad says. I don't know if I really agree with that. I hate the way I do, so I don't feel as shitty, health-wise. Not 
too bad, really. This is certainly good enough to stabilize right now. He has one card for a few turns and one draw. Last wave top deck. Uh, well, maybe next turn, and in a desperation move, we might choose to pull it off of that one. What could he have? Probably have some shit like Eviscerate. I bet that's what it is. Fine. Deathwing? No. You easily play Deathwing there, I believe. You get the one ones for it too. Oh, that was such a good Deathwing play. There's zero percent chance he has Deathwing. Master Okar. Why didn't he play that earlier? He chose to get three one ones instead of playing Master Okar. He's fucking terrible to me. I don't know. It's five and zero. Why would he do that? Play, I guess. Hmm. Looks like I also get to clear his board. Being vegan is not expensive. No. Being vegan and saying it's expensive is like being not vegan and saying that eating meat is really expensive when all you do is eat at steakhouses for every meal of the day. It can be, if you If all you go out and have like, you know, prepared fake vegan food or some shit, I don't know, probably. That's expensive, I guess. Be a problem. Other than that, though, not really. Like, Fungal Mancer wouldn't do it. Cobla would need a lot of help. I guess that play was pretty bad against Bone Mare. But that's that's really about it, to be fair. It's really about it. I'm vegan because I have a pretty nice list of health issues that got longer and longer year after year, and I tried a number of things. At one point, I was in pretty good health, eating conventionally healthy sleeping relatively enough as much as I could things are still getting worse so tried the diet and all the bad shit's a bit better more tolerable so that's why we stick with it okay I mean we're all dying one day at a time yes it certainly felt like I was dying a little bit faster than that when I was younger <laughs> what Have you tried sprouting mung beans in your desk? Okay. Any Jesus in my life? Well, I tried that too when my parents made me go to Sunday school for like, I don't know, four years. an office reference. Uh. Oh, hey, I can't believe that shit worked. Fine. He might just coin Blizzard me or something, but yeah, I guess whatever. Do I have an actual freeze in the deck? No, not really. There we 
it, I guess. Does force a trade for me, so it's not too bad. I think I'd rather play five mana worth of stuff than the explosive runes right now. I think I'd rather force out a small minion here with the snail and then play explosive runes more so for tempo than for direct damage. My calculations are flawless. Spider senses tingling. I guess I probably should kill that. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Holy crap. The fuck is that? Apparently that can happen. I'm meant to win this game? I guess so. Snail, 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 snail! Damn it. Snail. Snail me, bro. Snail me. An incredible okay, I guess that's fine. I like the video with the r random two drops. That was a pretty good one. I already played the uh, Allegiance, uh, Ravnica Allegiance, I think it's called. Allegiances. Oh, we dodged some bullets with that. You watch for the religious talk? Okay. I mean, religion for me is, is summarized pretty quickly. I don't really care if people go to church or believe whatever they believe. just don't really care. Just for me, my family is relatively religious. Actually quite religious, I would say, because most Canadians, I feel, are not. And, um, like, I went through the whole Sunday school thing, and basically it's just a uh, giant fucking waste of time. Like, you know... If, I feel if you want to go to church and you like have fun doing that, then do it. But uh, I don't think it's very fun. So I'd rather do basically anything else. Like, if you like church, have you considered like, I don't know, watching TV or something? Or watching Crip? Look at that. How about that? Go watch Crip. Maybe that's more fun. Crossing the line, boy. All right. Uh, parents are orthodox. Like, um... It's like Romanian Orthodox, but it's basically like uh, based on Greek Orthodox. In Romania, even the super shitty small ass villages that are super poor and have nothing have churches with golden roofs. So it's pretty fucked. But whatever. If that's how they want to spend their money, whatever. Maybe I'll get the Fire Eater this time? Okay, good. If you sub, will I get a golden roof? No. Mm. Alright. Well, let's see this growing back part. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. I mean, historical buildings in Europe are churches as well. Oh, I don't know, but churches are pretty cool. Like, I don't know, Rani and I on our first, like, travel trip to Berlin, we went to, like, a few churches there, and they're, like, cool buildings. Like, some of the really cool buildings. Oh, fuck. That sucks. It uh, sucks a lot. He's gonna get a heal. So, 
Yields for two. Is there any point to get it at four? Not really. Not really. Berlin's pretty cool. That's the right play. Well, if you want to be safe about it, but I think you do want to be safe about that. Sinky? I don't think so. Finland? No, 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 no. Not even, not even through the airport, I believe. God, everything's so terrible. I think I gotta play that. Haven't been to Australia. I've been to the Outback, though. Does that count? No. no. Yeah, the steakhouse. Oh, it does count. Okay. <laughs> then, yeah, I guess I have been to Australia. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Food is pretty good there. Why is he trading? I have no fucking idea. Gonna get rid of that because had some trouble getting rid of it. Stella Artois, it's not bad. I don't particularly like it though. I find it uh, kind of mediocre. High reek about that. Okay. My power grows stronger yet. Okay. Me angry, me so many possibilities. Most of the traveling we've done, and like almost all of it, has been like business related, so typically don't do business in like prime travel destinations. Sometimes they do, but typically they do not. I've not been to South America outside of uh, Caribbean areas, been Bahamas and Cuba, which are quite nice. But South South America, I've not been. Yeah, these high win opponents have been making very questionable plays. Sweden. I think I've been through some airport in Sweden at some point, but I'm not sure. Maybe he forgets that he gave me Shadow Flame. Yeah, it looks like he forgot. Mm, blast Wave though, damn, that's pretty nice. Oh well. I don't make mistakes, I bury them! Wow. I'm gonna need a better blast wave if I'm going to actually recover this game. 
Use too many cards right now. Wait, what? Kinda sucks. Smelly fish, yummy fish. And it really sucks. Yeah, so there you have it. How did someone making such bad plays get the high wins? Really good cards. It's pretty hard to stay alive here, I'd say. The worse the plays, the crazier the deck. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, actually, yeah. My jaws that bite, my claws that catch. Extraordinary. Oh, he gets death rattles again. Huh. What does this have? Boom bot. Fraggle's gonna kill me, dude. I don't have a way around that. Gets a 2 2 here. Can't stop that. Probably should have conceded. I really didn't think I was being sniped. The only thing that was like pretty fucking weird was the play around Blast Wave, but even that is not like that extreme. Just a bit weird. Uh, well, Madwine's pretty good against Mage, but it's a bit too early. I'll keep the Inspector. You're saving up for mobile Diablo Immortal. Oh yeah. An incredible discovery. Yeah, there's uh, there's a chance that'll be relatively expensive. <laughs> Don't Starve Together was a game we were going to play. I even like bought it, but then when we looked into it, it's like pretty unforgiving and stuff. It's not like a fun game to play with other people. It's just all right. I think if he wants to ping him, I'm gonna let him. <laughs> Game too hard, three head, yes. I don't know. That's a weird non trade, I would say. Wild sometime? I was thinking about doing that. Cost analysis of Immortal and make a meme out of it. I, mean, I already talked at length about that. Originally I think it was going to be a fairly light paying mobile game because otherwise uh, Blizzard would have like issues convincing people to play it. But um, since the basically crash in their stock value, I think they're going to go the route of fairly aggressive pay-to-win microtransactions. I have no insider info, but I mean, they're cutting back on games and staff and all the rest. I think we should have every reason to expect that reality. It's okay, we all have phones though. Uh, sure. Any feelings about why Blizzard purposefully destroyed World of Warcraft? Yeah, I don't think that actually happened. But, uh, yeah, I have heard it's not in great shape. We hear your heart. 
Seems like a pretty risky card to play. Like, what if it was Mirror Entity or Explosive Trap? Like, lose the turn or screw him up? Yeah, so I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird, I'd say. What's all my fault now? Discount with ley line as well. Should be pretty interesting. I honestly think the the biggest problem with Blizzard was the overhyping of Overwatch with the company and with everyone else. The fact that they thought the game would be that crazy successful, gauging by the... I mean, I don't think it's that much fun, but, you know, some people like it, sure. But on top of that, they thought that the viewing experience of the game would be good enough to have other investors pay, like, 20-plus million dollar for team franchises. Holy shit, dude. That is ambitious. For them to hype up Overwatch and to have those plans of grandeur as they did, they probably set expectations that were clearly unrealistic to the future of the company. Uh, Rania streams when she can. We've just been backed up on a lot of things. She's trying to catch up on those things. Like, she was setting up the phone I unboxed yesterday. And, uh, well, she wanted to sleep in the middle of the day. She's been sleeping off last night. And then we skipped that and went outside and did some stuff instead. So, yeah, one thing after another, really. Actually, I don't know if it's a good idea to play Firefly. I commit to pinging next turn, which sucks. I don't want to ping next turn. Overwatch is good, though. Yeah, but it's not that good. It's not like, buy my team franchises for $20 million good. I mean, they tried to make the FPS thing a bit more, like, approachable and mainstream and stuff. I don't know. I honestly think they had a better chance of, like, trying to get, like... A fucking World of Warcraft themed 3D chess esports league and try to get like teams in that. I think that would have more success, honestly. I think for someone who doesn't know the game, watching Overwatch is like terrible. It might as well be chess, is what I'm saying. If they reskinned 3D chess with World of Warcraft characters, I think it would have a more successful esports scene. Overwatch esports is like pretty successful, but they put so much time, money, and effort to get to that point. I think with the amount of push that they had, fucking anything is successful. Damn snails, man. Chat's triggered. Yeah, some of them like Overwatch, I guess. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with liking a game. I'm just telling you, like, as someone who doesn't play Overwatch, watching Overwatch is terrible. As a contrast, watching, like, StarCraft, which I also don't play, is pretty pretty damn good. It's pretty fun. I like what- like, when I go to BlizzCon and there's a tournament on every stream... StarCraft's pretty damn good. It's, like, fun to watch. Even fucking World of Warcraft's pretty fun. Like, Overwatch is the least fun Blizzard game to watch. It's the least fun. As someone who doesn't play it. But those are the people they're trying to pull into the game. Like, if they made Overwatch, like, Warcraft-themed, they wouldn't have to pull a new audience, right? 
because just people who like Warcraft. But they made it as an experience that is a new franchise with that behind, right? Like, it's crazy. I'm not bashing the game, man. I just said Overwatch has, like, a terrible idea to back it as, like, a watchable eSport. Doesn't mean the game sucks. I just don't like Overwatch. That doesn't mean the game sucks. People like Overwatch. Nice. Okay. That concept, HOTS, would have worked then? No. What are you talking about? HOTS didn't have, like, fucking... A, like, Blizzard pulled devs from, like, every decent game they were making to make Overwatch. They spent, like, an insane amount of money pushing the esports scene, the game, everything. HOTS didn't have any of that. So yeah, no shit it wasn't as successful. Six damage ping. We did it, boys. There's a statue of me at Blizzard. Is this any way to treat Overwatch? No, it's not a statue of me. <laughs> I, I've played Blizzard games, like, all my life. I love Blizzard games. But, like, the Diablo 3 dev team, like, the original one, they hated me. It was, like, disgusting. So I was pretty surprised when, you know, I go from, yeah, a bit of a hiatus from Diablo, but into Hearthstone, and they were, like, treating me, like, normally. So I was like, huh? How about that? Diablo 2 team? Well, the Diablo 2 team didn't really hate me. No why they would. I only had like one interaction with them and it was like, Hey, I have this pretty popular mod I'm working on. Can I charge people money for it? Blizzard reply, no. That was it. That was the extent of my interaction with Diablo 2 guys at Blizzard. Pretty much what I expected. My first Diablo 2 mod was called Fury, and the second one was called Crusades. I kind of stopped developing it. Uh, I had a lot of stuff I did that never went out, because I just got really addicted to Dark Age of Camelot when it came out. But I still had like a thousand people on my server at some points, so pretty good. Probably sucked. Well, it, it was, uh, like, top five at the time. That's pretty good, considering I was, like, 13 years old and didn't know shit about anything. A Celtic Warden? Celtic Warden, bro? Furbolg or go home? What is that? I sense your Pretty weak sauce. Yeah, I definitely have a pretty addictive personality. We actually saw Glass today. It was, uh, it was an interesting movie, I'd say. 
the best part about the movie Glass was the Captain Marvel trailer right before it. Holy shit, dude. Oh, fuck. All right, wait, 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 wait. That's lethal, isn't it? Yeah. Seriously, that Captain Marvel, oh my god. You know, like, that feeling when you're like, this is fucking incredible. Like, it's it's like the shivers down the spine. You're, like, tearing up a little bit. Oh my god. Dude, that movie is going to be fucking amazing. It's called Hype. Oh yeah, I don't get that really with anything else. So I don't know if it's called Hype. Am I talking about Marvel's Captain Marvel? Yes. Not Shazam. I'm not sure anyone can be that hyped about the Shazam trailer. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing that movie, but I don't know. Can't say I like that trailer very much. <laughs> Alright, I'll be honest. I feel like the DC Shazam trailer, they took Black Lightning and they turned the lightning bolt yellow and they just like painted over the same suit. And like, they try to get the actor to be like funny, but like, like, I'm not, like, crazy on, like, DC Comics and shit, but, like, I'm pretty sure Shazam is not, like, a Joker type of personality. Like, in the few that I have seen him, he was pretty serious, I would say. Anyway. He's a kid, but he was he's still pretty serious. He is a jokester here. Okay. Yeah, I've seen Shazam in, like, I don't know, a couple of Superman episodes of, I think, at least a couple of varieties. He was Deadpool-y? Okay, fine. I guess I'm just wrong about that then. Neither snow nor rain nor witch. Okie dokie. I don't know if there's like an extended Captain Marvel trailer, because the one I saw today was a little bit different. I don't know. Let's dance. The dark path is my destiny. DC movies since Justice League were so crap. I really liked Aquaman. I don't I don't agree with that. He's going to need a board clear, so... Let's just play some resilient stuff. Let's see if I can get this up here. going for no matter what so oh look at that we got it I think oh wait I'm at 11 0 holy shit <laughs> uh okay I just realized that I might go 12 0 wow how about that I think this is the trailer that I saw in the theater today and I thought it was absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Like, blew me away. So, I don't know that much about Captain Marvel, like, the superhero. And I'm always really excited to, like, learn more. But I know a lot about, like, the Skrull and the Kree. 
and all that space shit, mostly from Silver Surfer. And it's all so fucking cool. All of it is just so cool. So it getting tied in with uh, one of the major Marvel superheroes. I don't know. I, I'm like really looking forward to seeing this thing. Silver Surfer is 10 times cooler. Yeah, but Silver Surfer is 10 times cooler than anything. So, you know, that doesn't count. Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They have Kree and all that shit in that too. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I don't think I've seen that. Where can I see that? I, I haven't seen that on uh, like Netflix or anything. It is on Netflix. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna save it for a sweet mirror entity, okay? You won't know what hit him. The Spider-Verse movie is currently the best movie I have ever seen in my life. And Marvel's been killing it lately. It's harvest time. It's Sony, not Marvel. Is it? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Whatever. It's amazing. I know Sony owns, like, Spider-Man, but that was, like, not exactly Spider-Man. Like, that's Spider-Man 2099, and it was done very differently. Job's done. How am I supposed to get spell damage? Well, there you go. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Sony still owns Spider-Man, but they lend him for the MCU. I, wonder. I, d I just didn't know Spider-Man meant, like, every single version of Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man 2099 is very different than, like, regular Spider-Man. It's, like, very different. Like, Sony acquired Spider-Man, like, what, like, 20 years ago? I didn't think they would include all the other Spider-Dudes alongside that so they could make Spider-Man 2099 movie 20 years later. Like, I don't think they'd have that much foresight. That's why I was surprised to hear that about uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Damn, I don't have a spell. Spider-Man IP as a whole, including Venom and stuff. Hmm. Sony also owns Fantastic Four, including Silver Surfer. But like, in the MCU storyline, they're about to run head-fucking-first into the Silver Surfer. Like, all of the post-Infinity War stories involve Galactus, Silver Surfer, that side of things. Fox that owns Fantastic Four, not Sony. And Fox was recently bought by Disney. Oh, so we're back in business, right? Silver Surfer is coming at us pretty soon then. Fucking Disney owns everything. Let's go. I My duty is to the king! Ben. Disney has Monopoly, but it doesn't mean it guarantees quality. When the hell do you ever have a quality guarantee? I mean, with the recent track record of Marvel movies, this is pretty close. Hmm. What do you expect? So Disney's the Monopoly? Yeah, but Disney still competes with, like, movies. <laughs> Like, other movies. All of them. Oh, 
The CGI in Black Panther was terrible. I don't know, I still loved it. I don't even know what the last bad Marvel movie I saw was. There's just, there aren't any. The Scorch is the worst I could get, which is still pretty good, I'd say. Still pretty good. Otherwise, we play the Taunt and hope for the best, which is, which is still pretty good, really. All right, let's do that. I have enough HP. The only card that really screws us over is Blast Wave. Thor 2. Uh, was Thor 2 the one with the, uh, the ether? Dark Elves and shit. Oh, that was alright. I, I can see how people would see it as one of the, the worst ones. But I liked it. My opinion's wrong. I, I saw it twice. I don't know what to tell you. Iron Man 3 was rough. Is that the one with Mickey Rourke as Whiplash? Whiplash was 2. What was 3? Mandarin? For some reason I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I remember movies really well. I don't know, maybe there's some chance I didn't see Iron Man 3. I just don't. I just don't remember. Which is really weird for me. There must be a way. I didn't miss anything. Exploding suits. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, I, th I think I actually may not have seen Iron Man 3. I guess I had that to my watch list. Rams, those aren't exciting enough. 12 to 11. Still have a ton of answers right now, though. You really like Iron Man? Iron Man 3 is like 7.2 on IMDb. I mean, that's pretty good. That's not like best movie ever good, but that's pretty good. Certainly not what you'd consider bad. I gotta drop that Dragon's Fury pretty soon, because we only got one spell left. You take those ratings seriously. It's still a, still a measure of how some people liked it. Yeah, we got a beast. How about that? My duty is to the king! Why no beetle? Well, he's gonna need some kind of board clear, so there you go. That's why no beetle. We can take it slow. I'm doing that because I only have one spell left in my deck. Eight cards, that's not particularly good. Another beast, yeah, but it's a little late for it. Annihilated this run. Honestly, we've been talking about, like, movies and superheroes and, like, fucking religion or some shit. This has been, like, a podcast, and in the background, I just got 12-0 while paying attention to half of my games. I, I honestly didn't even realize I was at 11-0. Didn't even realize it. Yeah, just humble bragging right now, guys. Well played. Oh, that's that's a truly horrible card in the spot. <laughs> oh god. Maybe I can get my automaton to pull off my super duper combo wombo. Welcome. 
come to their shore. Twelve zero. Hi, YouTube. Woo! We did it. This is going straight to Twitter, where everyone who's not currently watching the stream can lavish in my greatness. All right. Oh, hey. UI. Not bad. No, oh, I just got a legendary in my last pack, so I can't really expect too much out of that. Ooh, we did it.